This is how I pick the three ways. Okay. I'm going around touching up the butt joints, any angle that needs attention, and the three ways. Now remember when I ran those, I didn't clean them with a knife or nothing afterwards, right? So now the first thing I do is I just give them a light scrape with my five, okay? I just scrape everything. And I try to go every direction. Okay? There you go. And I'll even do uh, where the flat goes into the angle. I like to just strike just that little section there. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I always start with the ceiling and and then the left and then the right. Okay. Ceiling, left, right. And notice I'm just mucking it up, okay? There, she's nice and loaded. Now, I start backwards. And I just wipe all the edges. Now I can go into the corner. Okay, always start with the ceiling. So now I gotta wipe my edge again because I got like Overlap, overspray. Okay, there you go. Now I'll wipe my edge again and go right into the corner. There you go. And leave it. That's it. Okay, I don't even sponge them because it's all textured sealing, right? So it's it's gonna get another quick skim with his three inch knife because he doesn't tape it because it's full of dust, right? Because if I was spraying it myself, I would tape it before I even start sanding. That way my tape actually sticks to the wall, all right? So this is the joint I was telling you about, okay? So again, I don't need to worry about the ceiling angle because that's all textured anyways. I just want to make sure that this, this angle here is beautiful for him because he tells me that my angles are too small. So, whatever. Okay? And now, this is the important part. When I'm wiping this, I'm putting my knife on an angle that doesn't shoot all the mud right into the other side. And there you go, guys. That's how I do the three ways and touch up the bad. And now I just work my way around the whole room. Have a good day.